Mm -hmm. I think mad dude, all, all the dudes who be going through wild, crazy baby mama drama. Go ahead. Mad oh. of them be like, yeah. it's because they don't yeah, be like. I can't take they it, never yo. did the research. They never did the I research. Can't take it. They never did the research. They because it was, the it was, facts. They never because it was a drunk night. Yeah, they didn't get the whole call facts. Call around. Get your whole facts. You mess with a joint, call around. Get the whole facts. Yeah, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. They always tell you to get the whole facts. Yeah, I had a dream that I could do it. I just had to pursue it. It was a revelation. Get on top of the music. Ain't no options but moving. Boy, I'm popping, it's proven. And not do it is useless. That option would be too stupid. To cool my emotions, I go through and be... Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Blood Exchange is back. Episode number 17. Numero 17. Episode 17, we back. Yeah. Welcome back to the Blood you. Exchange. Oh, Woo. Man, you know. It's your host and gunner, uh. a.k.a. Uh. Gregory Hines, the great dance legend. Tap, 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 tap. A.k.a. Aim High. One time. Stay fly. Stay uh. fly. Low life. You dig. Wow, that's an amazing entrance. Go to ahead. my left, I got another, none other than my guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my name is Crump was popping, uh, a.k.a. A.k.a. Dexter. Uh. uh. A.K.A. the robot. Woo! A.K.A. William H. <laughs> William, William H. 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 All time great. great. Vibes. Serial killy. Wow. Some I, I love cereal. I kill I, I like doing cereal. That's not what we mean, but good way. That's I a, like how you did that. Yeah. yeah. That was Rice smooth. Krispies? Like yeah, no, 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 no. Rice yeah. Krispies. Uh, okay. Gotcha. I like I like the I like the I like I like uh that was a good way out. Granola cereal. Good I like way the granola cereal. Got it. To my right, I got none voice. other than the man, the myth, the legend. Wow. Pablo, a.k.a. Bleak. A.k.a. the wavy seal. Woo. A.k.a. I'm not letting no pussy pass me because I'm a man and I have to do what I have to do. Stay strong. Champs only. Yo, what's good, Bleak? What's good? You're... You're... What's good, man? How was how was the week, fellas? Whew. Week was good, man. Week, was, week good. was good. You know, worked a bunch. A lot of training. Shot a couple videos and all that. Yeah. You know? Working, Working. training. See, yeah. I see we got our first uh, hate comment. Mm. Hater, I guess. I guess uh, oh, maybe yes, our first or second. Maybe the second hater. But, I mean, we got a we got an Instagram hater in the comments. But I don't think they're a hater. No. It's a fan. It's a particular fan. First of all, let's thank yeah, them for I, watching. Yeah, thank you for watching. So thank you for, for watching. Yeah, every time. Thank you. For thank you for watching. Thank you for pulling up. And always, subscribe. always feel free to comment yeah, and, and tell us what you think. Let us know when we get something wrong. Always. I think you're misunderstood. Or you disagree. This I is a judge-free zone. D definitely. I think in this case, you're just misunderstood because we are far from... That. Homophobic? We would never be homophobic. No, not at all. Yeah. I'm, there's a, there's a mm -hmm. lot of things that I'm afraid of, but I'm not afraid of... Um, yeah. Homosexuals. Yeah, no, no, no. So, mm. yeah. And I was just confused about personally mm. uh, Black History Month not being about the main Black History. Yes. I don't know. Hey. Any other month, do your thing. Yeah. But just Black History Month, I felt like should have been about Black History. Maybe I'm bugging, but that's just how I feel. It and, might I don't be think that, and I don't think that's offensive. Yeah, I man. think that's, just, that's my March, opinion. And nowadays, March we should Madness. be allowed to have opinions. That's what this show is about. It's about yeah. a blunt exchange of opinions. Ain't nothing happening in March, you know? You got March Madness. You got a bunch of other little stuff. Come on. Ain't nothing happening in May. Hey. There you go. May. And it rhymes with gay. Uh, so it could be happy. Happy. Oh, gay. So gay. It could be the happiest gay month day. of the year. And then you could pick a day in May and call it gay day. May there you gay go. day. <laughs> Look how fire! Look at look at that. That's all D fire. Hey, May Gay Day. Hey, mm. feel me? It'll be the happiest month of the year. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But I feel like there should be a lot more uh, focus on Black History during Black History Month. That's all. And if I'm wrong for that, I'm wrong for that. I'll die on that hill. Oh, um, okay. Die on it, dog. Let's go. Uh, you guys have anything to say about that, or yeah. just aim, go in. Aim, no, no, talk I, that I, shit, I, I, uh, I mean, I mean, when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the the person who left the comment, we appreciate the comment. I mean, I like, I don't expect everybody to sh share the same opinions that one of us or all of us might have, and uh -huh. it's all 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 we try to do is open up a, a platform where people can comment and talk about what they feel. Yes, is their you know like 
how it should be for how them. They so, be, so, however they feel. Their perspective, their, perspective, their, angle, yeah. their angle, all that. However so, they feel. Yeah, continue, talk to us. Please continue to write because I love I w- having conversations. I also wish there would be more like descriptive of what they thought was homophobic. Right, why right, they thought right, it was right, homophobic. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Just so we can address directly so what address you that. might what you might have uh, confusion was. So we didn't give enough uh, sh- shout out to uh some of our uh, viewers that hold us down, they they know where we're coming from and they hold yeah. us down in the comments right back. Shout out to uh, what D was up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out D, how you you know uh, you know. Shout out for that, uh, on that, that comment that reply. Yeah, yeah. You, know? you said Facts. some shit that we didn't have to say. That was awesome. Facts, yeah. yeah. You made it easy for us. Yeah. So yeah, um, nah. Yeah, man. I'll piggyback off what you guys said and yeah, yeah man. I, it's just that's just the way it is. We are here just creating a platform for people to talk that what it is. Talk they talk. Talk, talk they, they talk, talk. Keep man. Keep it real. Keep it real. It's not judge free zone. It's like nowadays, it's like you can't talk anymore. Mm-hmm. And, like, you know, we're, tr- we're here to be unfiltered, raw. Blunt. We keep it blunt. funky. Keep it a stack. Keep it a hundred. Hundo. Keep it a thou wow. Thou wow we. You know what I mean? Keep it real. Whatever you, however you call it, we keeping it blunt, man. <coughs> we're nobody, you know what I mean? I'm no, I'm no different from you. Yeah, yeah no. All I'm we want is just. The, I'm chilling right now, smoking a blunt, talking shit with my homies. You do the same thing. Yeah, everybody just wants to be able to hear your hear each other's perspective and, and have a conversation. Whether we ultimately agree at the end of the day is not the goal. It's just understanding. And, and, and being able to, to yeah. have the discussion. Right. Let's have the discussion. Maybe you could put me on to something I didn't understand. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? And maybe I could do the same for you. Right. You know what I mean? But we have to be able we have to be open to come to that place that we can even do that. So you're just out of here right after this, aren't right you? Right after this. You're just bouncing. You're just jumping on the plane and you're going. Yeah. I'm just going where straight you, to the backyard. Where are you flying from? I'm going, going back. Back to DR, DR. Oh, you're flying to DR. You're leaving out of what? Yeah. LaGuardia? Teterboro? No, no. JFK? JFK. Teterboro? New Yorker, bro. What's up? Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. people go uh, whatever they can might, get. You might have I'll be New flying York. out of Newark. I'm New saying, I don't know. That's in Jersey. What about, I'll be flying out of Teterboro. <laughs> I try and fly out of Teterboro every time I can. Every oh, yeah, chance yeah, I can. Yeah, the yeah, clear yeah, port. The clear port. Oh. No, I mean, you PJs, see, Crumb, we're not there yet, Crumb. My bad. I mean, I'm not one there day, yet. one day, just just keep I'm working not there hard. Yet. Keep I gotta like hard. check in hard. and stuff like that. You know? So I got uh, people you, that work at Tita, bro. You go, what, what you going out to D? Uh, what you going to DR for? Oh, we celebrating our homies B Day. Out there. Shout out to Dubs. Facts. That guy. Yeah. Mm. Shout out to everybody Happy headed birthday, out there. Dubs, Shout out to show. out there. Dub work. You've heard his music on various and multiple yeah episodes. Episodes. He probably is our most played artist. What my favorite rapper. Mm-hmm. Besides, like Jay Z and a couple other rappers, but he's up there. He's around them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, and yeah, check his music out. Dub work. Happy birthday! I wish I could be there, but I'm here dropping the blunt exchange. Yeah, and getting we all the blunt are. exchange ready mm-hmm. every week. Every you know every week. Um, it down for you. And you already know what it is. Pisces season has returned. And y'all, don't disrespect me, because when it was your birthday, I showed wild love. No negative. I didn't say nothing about mine's coming up. And then when it was your birthday, wild love. I didn't say nothing like, but mine is better. So Did I say anything like that? I'm just saying. I'm just giving you a preamble, like, yo, chill. Let me just get through my shit. Yeah. First of all, Pisces season. I didn't say nothing negative about Happy about birthday to everybody that's a Pisces. Of course, we said dub work already. Shout out to, I guess we were begr- be- begrudgingly give... The cameraman a happy birthday yeah. because look, he's been look, a dick. Look, 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 look. <laughs> All right, happy All birthday. Right. You're on thin ice, Brian. Happy G day. Yeah. You're on thin fucking ice. Let's take a shot though. Um, take the shot. Take the shot real quick for to oh, start off your start off your uh, your um season. Oh, your, trip? your season, Pisces. Start off your season. Oh, respect. Listen, all yeah. I said was that we have to go through these seasons to get to the best season. You which is see season. what I'm, I'm saying? I'm not hating on Pisces. I didn't say what? nothing negative about Pisces season. I didn't say nothing negative because you. I didn't un- say nothing. Negative. No one provoked you when you brought up your season and then called it the best. Yeah, you're being disrespectful. Because I guess we never. Well, let, you no, don't have to say nothing like so, that during so, my season. So we're nobody says we're nothing. We're giving the like toast to we're giving the toast to birthday to Dubs and birthday to Brian. That's what we're toasting. Yes. No, we're not toasting. No, for, we're not toasting we never toasted to for no any other season. season. Yeah, no. Introduction for yes, any other season. No, so we're exactly. gonna show respect. Yes. And just say Yes. Shout. Shouts for their birthday. Yes. Toast to Pisces season. Shout out to this shout out to Sagittarius season coming up. Shout out to everybody. Uh, Scorpion. Scorpion season Sagittarius. Is the best shout out you see how y'all think it's disrespectful. Exactly. So stop shout out to every, shout out to everybody who's a Pisces. You know who you are. 
Shout out to everybody. Happy birthday to us, Shout out right? to everybody. Shout out to our peoples who just had their birthdays during the month of March or the end of February. You already know. Yo, man. Holla at your Happy boy. birthday, man. Happy birthday. Uh, is there any shout out to all the dead niggas? Uh, as we drink the licks, dead or in jail, um, dead or in jail niggas, but only the stand up ones, not the pieces of shit. Do a word of the day, word word of the day, word of the day. Word of you the day. You asked for it, we got it. Word, word of the day. Of the, day. <laughs> the word of the day today is obfuscate. 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 Yo, are you making these got words it. up, yeah? No. Obfuscate. Let's go. These are words, man. All right. So, obfuscate means it sounds something like. like, Obfuscate. It sounds like it's telling somebody what to do or something like that in that realm. Like. Obfuscate. Can we we get it in a sentence? Yeah, you can get it in a sentence. You know what I mean? For all the listeners? (laughs) For the listeners' sake. Not for us. It's not for you guys. (laughs) Not for us. It's more likely to obfuscate people than Mm -hmm. enlighten them. Oh, to hold uh, back, to um, to hold back, to hold back, brush, to hold back, to brush off, like to like to like scoff at, like mm. something uh, like that. Yeah. I feel like both of y'all are right there, like y'all are obfuscate, right on it. You obfuscate. hold back, yeah, yeah, but and to brush off, yeah, like to like to like not even validate, like You're, invalidate. You guys are there, so the def- I would give it, but I would give it to both of y'all. To be honest. Okay. Okay. The definition of obfuscate, it's a verb, mm-hmm. is to render obscure, unclear, or unintelligible. Oh, too cloudy, Ooh. to fuck up, fake yeah, news. Yeah, to like bewilder, mystify, mm-hmm. puzzle, those are similar words. Fake to news. Misdirection. To confuse, yes. Yeah. yeah so, y'all both, y'all both got it right again. Look at oh, y'all, man. Yeah, y'all know man. these words. What's going on? Nah. Y'all been reading? I did my Google. So the pressure, beforehand. you been reading? I've been, I've been oh. reading. Y'all been reading. Yeah, y'all I've been reading. You be putting the pressure. Obfuscate. So, obfuscate is to cloud your judge. Yeah. Like <coughs> Corona. We don't drink you know, Coronas. I like, cough out a Corona bottle, like yeah. We don't drink Ooh. Coronas. I'm gonna fly off the screen. But sure, we don't drink Coronas. So and you're black. Then not Yeah. Yeah. Dig. I mean, this is all misinformation. Yeah, this, is, this, this is true. This is, right. this is the. This is just because you're black doesn't mean you won't get the coronavirus. This is the fucking word. Of These the are day. jokes. These if you haven't, the but there's only three. You can see that only, one of our categories is humor. Africa, this is though. jokes. There's only three cases in Africa, and it's for the fact that it's so close. They're like, yo, that's crazy. How? Right. Gee, that was the word. That was the word cases. of the day. That statement right there. Obfuscate. So, can I ask y'all a question? Have y'all? Did you see what happened with um? Black people don't um. Black people don't get, they don't get the coronavirus. You dig? Yeah, it's like yo, black people just go chill. Chill. Oh, no, you good? You're not yeah, gonna get the coronavirus. How bad are they? Look how bad they are. They, how are they telling black people they ain't not that they're they're you know what I mean? they're mean, immune to it, so they can go to... over there and fuck around and die and die. Damn, that's. that's and then ridiculous. they can take their land and resources. Yo, the mind fuck is insane. But you know what they'll call that? A white lie. Yeah, yeah. I see what you did there. You like that, huh? I see what you that's did. That's what there. my nigga did. Yeah, that's what you did. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, man. That's probably the real meaning of a white lie. <laughs> that's what they do every time. They do some shit. Yo, that's need, a white lie. I need hey. all the like, oh shit, all the whole tap, like memes, like. <laughs> yo, shout out Dr. Omar me. Johnson. Yo, he oh, is God, top yo. five. Oh. Funniest, the funniest people on the internet. Dr. The funniest thing on the planet. Umar Johnson Definitely is the top funniest five. Pan-Africanism. Major hype. Major hype. Dr. That, right? Umar Johnson. Oh I'm gonna do what you do. Dr. Umar Johnson is yes. one of the funniest niggas on the internet. Pan-Africanist. That shit is... Yo, bro, his videos are gold. Gold. It's a gold Donations. Bro. Donations. He's like talking on the phone. He's like, yo, don't worry, bro. I got him. I got him. And then his mm. phone rings his while, phone he's, rang. while he's faking the oh. phone call. Like, boop, oh. He started a flip phone. Yo. Yo, yo have you ever been, like, on the phone talking shit? Yeah. Like, or and they call you? And then uh, you actually get a call, so, yeah. like, it exposes everything? Has that ever happened to you? Like, mm-hmm. you do what you nah. wish. Yo, matter of fact, hold on, hold bitch. On, on. You talking that shit? <laughs> yeah, shorty, you want me to come through and dick you down right now? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, my bad. Yo, he's hold a wild on. Dude. Nah, my phone be bugging. You already know. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. call you. A bit. I'm gonna call you later, bitch. Yo, yeah, Dr. Umar Johnson's mad funny. Dr. Umar Johnson, top five top funniest five. niggas on the internet, and I don't even think he means to be. Yeah. Or if he does, he's good. 
So, uh, can I ask y'all a question about something I saw on the internet this week? What did you see on the internet this week? Uh-oh. Even though I heard a rumor before you go forward that Uh-oh. Dr. Umar Johnson is dating Jill Scott. Oh, my right. God. Oh, that was trero. one of those unreliable rumors, uh, but it was just funny because trero. if that's true, then one of the funniest memes ever yeah. will be even more... It will take it to another level. Donations. Donations. Yeah. Relax. Donations. Yeah. <laughs> Premature. Donations. Stuff. Donations. Donations. You hear me? Donations. <laughs> the NBA is suspect. Suspect. <laughs> the CBA. CIA created feminism. No, no, no. It's feminism <laughs> was created by the CIA. You dig? And then you got to repeat it. Feminism. Was created by the CIA. You gotta understand that the gods met in heaven and came down and gave me my name. Mm. Go dig up your ancestors. Yo, doctor, shout out to Dr. Umar Johnson. Donations. You're the man. Um, like, how committed you are to your shit? Like, like, like he'll be, he'll that. be dead, like, and like, educated dead, dead, like, Holocaust. And he'd be like, no. And special ed. No. And the education did holocaust. He, did he open up a school yet? Did he open up a school yet? <laughs> I think I thought he opened up a school. I, it's it's all bad, right? <laughs> I thought he opened up a, a homeless shelter. Uh-huh. I thought he opened up a, a homeless shelter and he's getting it rocking. It's probably yeah. donations. He's been accused, uh, accused of pimping and all kinds of yeah. shit. Like, my brothers, my sisters. Like his, all right, let me let me ask y'all something. Let me ask y'all something. I know you could only send me ten dollars. But next time, send me twenty. You did. Yeah. All right, sister. I know, all, I know that's all you had. <laughs> that's all you had. I don't. I don't know that's all you had, sister. But, but send, send me twenty, 20 next, next time, time, shorty. Donations. Doctor Umar Johnson, the nerve. <laughs> Asking. Let me get off, Doctor Umar Johnson. Let's get off this before I get tight. Before I get tight. Before I get tight. we don't want crumbs to get tight. Yo, yo, chill, chill, chill. So I saw this week that Eva, Eva Marcel of Real Housewives of Atlanta, and. Um, she was formerly of America's Next Top Model. She uh, has a child with Kevin McCall, uh, artist and singer and yeah, writer. Yeah, yeah. Um, and she recent and she got she got remar- she got remarried re- uh, not so long ago. She's, a yeah. she's pretty yeah. man. Like yeah, she's yeah, got yeah. a bunch of short hair, the short hair with a little, little slim joint. Yeah. Joe. Yeah, she was mad one. pretty, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I thought um, I thought she was pretty. I liked her a lot. Yeah. So we, we, I have something to talk about in a little bit when it comes to her. Okay. When it comes okay. to short hair. Okay. Gotcha, but gotcha. um, so ultimately she changed her, she legally changed her daughter's last name. Yeah. To her new husband's last name when Kevin McCall has been, when her and Kevin McCall have, for the last couple of years have been uh, co-parenting and battling in and out of court for custody and custody rights and stuff like that. And um, it's just crazy that uh, I know she's been calling. I know she consistently calls him crazy and stuff like that, which to discredit. discredits his yeah. name and stuff like that. But I don't think that, in my opinion, I don't think that's really fair that she legally changed her daughter's last name to the new uh, hu- name? to the new husband's husband, last new husband, name, new husband. while the father is actively trying to be in his life. He's still in the picture. So, yeah. I just wanted to toss that up to y'all, see what y'all thought. G, you want to? I mean. Okay, so I feel like what you're trying to say, you're just tossing it up, like, no. yeah, a, well, what, uh, or is it more like, is that acceptable? How do you feel? Is that cool? I don't think that's cool. Like personally, if you're asking me, right, I would be very, very hot over that. Like, I'm not letting that happen I because think so. why would you change? Even though it's my little girl and she eventually, she's eventually gonna get married, right? She's gonna, but. Why would you change her last name just because you're going into? She's still our daughter, my daughter. Right. There's no need to change her last name. To be fair, I understand the other side of it, but it would depend, honestly, to me, on the age of the child. And then it's a fight. Then I would want at least a hyphen. There's got to be some kind of compromise for me. Um, <clears throat> I think this is a psychological warfare. Between mm. this late, uh, what's her name? Eva, Eva Marcel. Marcel. Between Eva and her ex-husband, Kevin. Mc- Kevin. Uh, yeah, I don't know if they were. I don't know if they were out, um, ever married, but the the father of the child. Yeah, the father of the child. Well, yeah, psychological war. Yeah, because for you to for the for the mother to take that step and changing her um five year old's um name last name, you know, it might seem normal, right? Because at the end of the day, it's just a name, right? So it seems normal on paper. What comes behind it 
it's comes with it. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely more in detail. It's like invalidating it's the invalidating father something. as the father. So if, if he is truly trying to be in, her, in his daughter's life and she's the one that's trying to, you know, erase him, she definitely has, I'm sure, obviously she has the, the system on her side, right? There's got to be some type of paperwork that right. allows her to do this without his consent. They, they normally take the woman's side. Yeah. yeah, that's another thing that we're always talking about, double standards. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a lot of double standards in the legal system when it comes to men and uh, male and female. No. And we can definitely get into that, you know... Sometimes we should get serious, I guess. Yeah. And give information and But this could be a prime example in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um you know, you have you you're continuing with the Oh story. yeah. So basically, yeah, that's what I was trying to say, like to finish that, definitely it's like some different kind of to because I mean the daughter's five years old, she don't know what's best. At this point she could be easily mm-hmm. you know, maybe she does like the the the, the stepdad. Maybe her the way you know you don't know exactly how no, that five year old she's gonna thinks. she's gonna say yes to everything exactly. mommy asks her to say, say yes yeah. to and when she goes to daddy's house she's gonna say yes to everything daddy wants exactly. to do like she's just happy to be here and she's gonna she's say just yes. she's just um she's just there she's just yeah, piece she's of the baby. warfare like she's just a pawn a pawn basically mm-hmm. in this and yeah. that's why it's so unfortunate well, very unfortunate for that for that child and that her you know that their parents are going through this and she's the actually like the one that's Gonna the feel all dusty of this. shit goes in the, inside the dusty shit. So, yeah. I, and if I'm the dad, I'm highly upset. Obviously, if I'm trying to still be involved, mm-hmm. because why would you do that? It's whack that you have no way, like you can't even the, do anything. But the man if in that, the system has no. That's crazy. We don't really have. Isn't a lot. that crazy? Shouldn't that be a decision yeah. that we both make, especially that the child is already named this way? Yeah. Like so we cr- should both have. That's so to me. That's so crazy. Yeah. She had she, even if right? she right. That was feels a wrong. Am I wrong? Or right. A it feels so. It feels so like messed that. up. It feels when, when, like when, 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 no when legally you feel like as a father you have no rights or your rights you feel like your your claims it's not that you don't have rights are invalidated very, because like you're a man against like you know. Mm. Mm. Yeah. No, that's what it is. It's not that you don't have rights. It's just that the rights that you have are very very. Limited. Limited. Very, very limited, and for you to prove them you against them, yeah, it has to, to be never yeah level. Over Even and above she could crazy. be a deadbeat crackhead living in a dungeon. You could take pictures and all that, and it still gotta be beyond that. It's gotta be something like incredible. Yeah, she like, like shot the baby up. Yeah, crack. and then okay, <laughs> you know, she wouldn't have done that. But you know, huh? She wouldn't have done that. She would have fed the the crack through the yeah. The teeth. It, it gets yeah, really bad. Just did the crack, and when it comes to that, those kind of things, it's dicey. Um. Yeah. That so was that was dark. You it's dark it, right it's there. just cr- yeah. That's so no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, well, it's yeah, just yeah, whack. Like when, like you feel like you feel like you as a father can't father like, like you're, you're, yeah, that's, you're, that's you're, deep. They're that's taking, deep right they're there. taking, they're taking, they're taking, they're taking it away deep. from you. It's just, it's just trash. Yeah. yeah. Like, what if your baby mom's just like wants to break up with you out of nowhere? And just go live with some next nigga and let the baby call uh, him daddy. Like, the baby's little still, like, two or three years old. Like, how do you even handle that? Because they have... I feel like she has all the right to do that. No, no, no. You can't leave the state until unless... You can't leave think, the state. You have to have some kind of agreement. You know what I think it state. is? I think it's a bigger subject that uh, men ain't having, which are... They're not taking the time and they're either like depositing their 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 funds in the wrong bank like they're not taking the time to decide which is the right bank to go to 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 to, to open an account in if i understand you correctly i think you're talking about busting nuts and bitches yes that's okay oh you were trying to that's the street way oh Oh, okay oh you're trying to say the different my fault no i don't care no i just thought you was no we hitting both we hitting both we hitting both i just thought you was talking about coming inside of females yeah Yeah, i be i I think a lot of day a lot of times men are just they're just they're just act they're just like carelessly like Nutting in shorties or depositing. I think there's a deposits. percentage of men that are doing and that, and then they and then they and find think, out. Yeah, they, they, they really get to know, like they they the the time where they should be learning about the woman that they're dealing with, especially if you're gonna be coming inside them raw without condoms, like yeah. especially that. Especially that. They're learning. They're learning about. They're learning yeah. about the person who's gonna yeah. be the mother of their child 
when they're going through like like the pregnancy phase and aren't there like um, like their hormones and like shit going crazy already so it's not yeah. even really like a true version of them it's like a crazy crazy version okay, and so like i like i just think that like some men who wind up having the crazy, crazy baby moms mm-hmm. be like, yo, man, why didn't you take the time out to find out <laughs> she was crazy? Like, are you yo, a, are listen, you that man. much of a bird yo, that you need to come in this joint the first chill. time you meet her, mm-hmm. yo? Get him, crumb. Like, chill. real talk. Like, yeah, chill. That is real talk. Chill, chill, chill. No, you you see, maybe I'm nah. bugging. No, no, no. I don't I feel think like so. that's a very small percentage. Yeah. Very small? For of, real? Of the wow. baby. No. Fathers. Nah, I be thinking that's mm. I think mad dudes, <laughs> all, all the dudes who be going through wild, crazy baby mama drama. Go ahead. Mad oh. of them be like, yeah. it's cause they don't <laughs> Yo, be like I can't take they it, never did the research. They never did the I research. Can't take it. They never did the research. Because it was it was facts. They never did the research. They didn't get the whole facts. Yeah, they didn't get the whole facts. Call around. Get your whole facts. You mess with a joint, call around, get the whole facts. Yeah, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. They always tell you to get the whole facts. Yeah, like find out talk. what's going on. Kick the tires. Mm-hmm. Take it on a test drive. <laughs> take it on a test I drive. I can't believe I oh. got you to say that. I mean, we'll take that out. Oh! <laughs> nah, obviously, obviously niggas ain't pulling out. They're not. Yeah. Yo, like, you, know you, can, you know you can get pregnant off pre-cum, right? That's what they told us in fifth grade. Right? Yeah. I seen a bitch say so on the internet the other day, pre-cum is just niggas getting wet. I've heard. Yeah, obviously. That's just a nigga getting wet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen that. That was mad funny. <laughs> That was yeah. mad funny. <laughs> I think it's mad crazy. funny. You like that? Yeah, that was mad. Like, yo, whoever whoever created that meme, was <laughs> mad funny. <laughs> yo, I heard when dudes pre-cum, it's because they're wet. It's because they're mad wet. Mad funny. Yo. Mad funny. So what do y'all? What do y'all? So what do y'all think about what I'm saying? What are you saying, my good man? I mean, like niggas I is, is niggas is irresponsible. That's what. He yeah, said. like I th- do I think, your I, whole facts. I think a lot of dudes I do think, your okay, research. Ultimately, what I'm saying. Ultimately, niggas. what I'm saying is. Ultimately, what I'm saying is I ultimately, what I, I think. I think what I'm saying but is. But I got this. I'm a G though. I think. I think ultimately. Real talk, watch this. I think ultimately, a lot of dudes be like thinking about the immediate, yeah. na- the, the 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 present, but not thinking about the future when it comes to. Like what they did. Like not every bot, not everybody's a good body, yo. Sometimes it's better to just keep it light, yo. There you go. I respect that, Crump. Good body is yeah. such a crazy. Nah, I respect that though. That's but fire. That's just that's true, I mean, and that's true. Not everybody's quantity, a good body. Quality over quantity. Respect. Respect. Okay. I mean, I'm I, a, I guess that. I'm a loser. No, no, you're that's not. not loser shit. I guess I'm a loser. That's definitely not loser shit. Oh, but I feel like you think that. Every time that someone gets pregnant, it was niggas just wilding out. No. I'm wilding no. out. No. No condom, and I'm nothing in your raw, baby. Mm. I don't give a... What's your name? I don't give a fuck. I'm nothing in your raw. No. Oh, I'm, because no, that's no, how I'm doing no, it. No, no, no. I'm not saying... No, I'm not saying crazy. that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying... But I'm saying it's the times where... It'd be mistaken, does like, some of things are happening. <laughs> a little things are happening. <laughs> it's a piece of pie, yeah. Me scusi, me scusi, me scusi, me You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't like, like, yo. I feel that. I'm talking. I'm not talking about a. I'm not talking about when a guy's been talking or dealing with a shorty for some no. time. I'm talking about when it's like, <laughs> yo, bro, shorty got pregnant. <laughs> And you're like, ugh. I'm like, yo, man, what are you doing? You <laughs> what are you doing? Out. Yeah, man. I know of people right. that have like two or three women pregnant at the same time. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. So And they're doing the dance. Uh, so let me say, so then obviously the self-control, right? right? Huh? You're self-control, right? Um, yeah. Basically, talk about moment, it, Bleak. No, no, talk no, no, no. about it. It's not that. It's not that. It's just at that moment in time where you have to make that decision to pull out and you don't. Self control is obviously. Yeah, you have no right? self control. You're but a kid. But you're being peer pressure. You're just like, oh, it feels great. Exactly. You're peer. You're being. That's peer you pressure. You guys sound like virgins because <laughs> it's not virgins. I'm just saying he's talking about having responsibility at that moment when you are about to. But you, most of the time, what do you do? You're peer pressured by the wetness and the and the hotness uh, of, of that P U S S Y, right? So, 
it's it's never that easy. It's never been easy. That's what we're that's what we're here today. That's why there's so many of us. Listen, it's that's never why there's been the easy. coronavirus. It's never been easy, but at the same point in time, a real nigga knows you can nut in your bitch mad times, and yeah. she's not gonna get pregnant. We're not talking about your shorty. No. See, that's that's he's talking you, about the irresponsible. Yeah, I'm ones. talking about the irresponsible, the, the irresponsible yeah, yeah. stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm talking about the people who are. But I don't think that's too many of them niggas. I'm talking about like, those people are irresp- irresponsible. That's like fifteen percent. I mean, I'm t- I'm talking about them though. Okay. I'm you heard we're concentrated. I'm concentrated we're con- on we're focusing them. Focusing on the, these crazy niggas. Yeah, the one. The, yeah, like when, the ones who be like, "Yo, man, my baby mama's crazy. crazy." It's like, nah, no, nah, do dog. Research. You didn't do your research. But she's still crazy. But yeah, if you, you would have done your research, research you wouldn't have had the baby. You yeah. wouldn't have. So you wouldn't give, even. You would have stopped so messing you're, with her. Exactly. Now you're gonna give her the path when I'm the victim. No, you're the victim of choice. Yeah, you, you chose. chose that. You chose to be a victim. I didn't. You came unprepared to the some, fight. No, no, no. Wait, wait. You came unprepared to the fight. What right? was the What was the fight? You came unprepared to the fight. You didn't come through with the. You with didn't the come protection. through. You didn't come through you with the protection. With the armor. So you came to war. With no protection. Yeah, so you, you just showed up. up. The king showed up with nobody there. You just the king. Nah, bro. But I got that big That's sword, you, got you heard? And you got slain. Sword game but crazy, But check out the crazy cycle of now that, Now you got, right? now you got so the now 18, you got inres- 18 years to, 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 to worry about that. Uh... Irresponsible choice. And I make a prince. But hold on, Crumb. Or a princess. Look look at this crazy cycle, to take right? Take the kingdom to the next and, level, and you heard? queen is crazy. Hmm. But I still love her, though, because that's my queen, you heard? Oh, that's your queen. Oh shit. She's having my baby. She's my queen. Even Until if she's crazy. She start, she, the, what, what's crazy? What do you mean by crazy? Like, cause, cause, cause you, you, you'll still be a family because like y'all have the connection between the baby, but y'all don't have to stay together, right? So does she have to be your queen? She's a queen. I, I know she's a queen. She's a queen because before she she was a queen before she met you. So that's nah, not that's not even yeah, a play now. Right. So we're not interested. But she's in that. a queen. She carried my child. Uh huh. So what about so so that means that she could act however she wants after that, and she's still a queen. Yeah, but no, no. I, I'm sorry, G. I can't accept the queen thing. Talk to him, Blake. No, I can't because I know what he's trying to say with the queen. But obviously, if she's crazy, that's not your queen. It's just the way it works, bro. I need to be around my child. I know you do, but it's like he said, it was an irresponsible move done to a girl that you don't know what came, if she came from an already irresponsible choice. Yeah, you understand? You don't know what, you don't know what kind that's of... The, like, that's the worst cycle. You don't even, know, you don't even cycle, know what kind of decision-making capability she got exactly. to raise your kids. Like, she's over here, like, you don't even it's know what she's like. Breath. She's like, yeah, I want them to drink fucking Kool-Aid and eat, like, Little Debbie's for every night. Yeah, she and you're might like, them, where does this come from? She might let them eat ice cream for breakfast. That's out of control. If you would have done your research, you wouldn't be in a position with a woman that does such things. She might let them eat red vines. Exactly. Is what I'm, that's what I'm saying. What if she was a, a, the seed of an irresponsible choice herself? You understand? So now you come along and you put, you place another irresponsible choice on top of that woman, and then that's and what the you cycle read. continues. And the cycle but how continues. How do you break it? By not doing that. But what if you already? By did doing it? the research. What if you already did it? Exactly. What exactly. You if you already did what? it, you did it. Yeah, we know that. But we're trying to. The cycle continues. It's called preventative care. That's you what, what I mean? the United. That's what America likes to. That's what we do over here. Yeah, that's what we do. America that's what we do, right? Isn't that what, that's what we do. That's what we pay. That's what no, we actually, do. that's lies. We do. We go everywhere and we make sure we're everywhere so it doesn't come to where we live. And that's the most important shit. Yeah. Okay, so, baby. can I ask y'all another question? Of yeah, course. Go ahead. Like, get some, let's get topics. We did one topic. A fake ass or a flat ass? Okay, so what would I rather choose? A fat ass or... I mean, a or fake ass? Or yeah, flat fake ass. ass. Fake or, ass or, or flat, flat ass. ass? It's a double what F. Is, how, how is, like, what's flat? Like, I need the definition of flat. Like, what is a flat ass? A flat ass is an ass that is from the side as straight as the front. Like does a Miley Cyrus ass? ass? Does it go in? It goes like a, a Miley Cyrus ass. It goes ass. in? It owes bit. ass? Oh, nah. If it owes ass, nah. Oh, nah, chill. I can't do it if it owes ass. Yeah, that kind of ass. Yeah, for, uh, it has to be. It's a it's a semi-concaving ass, 
but oh it's, my god, a semi concave yeah, ass. And no, a, and a and a no, and a semi and a semi ridiculously fi- uh, fake ass. And how f- okay, semi fake ridiculous. Yeah. So what's that like? Like like she like, has like the skinny fat legs with no thighs. Yeah, she has no thighs, and she has oh like that a Bugs Life joint. Like it looks like a ant. Wow, that kind. Yeah. Or the concaving crazy, or the concaving. but she could still be mad fucking. Pretty, I mean, they're right? both beautiful. They're both beautiful. Yeah. Damn. In the face. That means the one with the fake ass could be like amazing. Yeah. She's got in certain angles. She's like unstoppable. Exactly, yeah. 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 But I mean, from the front, like from straight on with the with the flat butt, it looks like she has the hips. She looks like she has the fatty, but when she turns to the side, it's flat. You can and see it from flat. the front. Cause it's, she has the hips, you know what I mean. The, the the one with the fake butt doesn't have the hips. You can't. She see just it. has the butt. You can see it from the and side. And the one that has the no butt has the hips you and can no see it ass. From the front. It's just flat. I, 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 look, <coughs> first of all, first of all, first coronavirus. of all, coronavirus, corona, corona. I don't drink coronas. We don't drink coronas. You dig? But first of all, <laughs> this set, it says flat asses versus fake asses, mm-hmm. and two Fs. Who wants two negatives? Nobody wants two negatives. But I'm going to take the flat ass because we can work it in. Because I can go to one of these IG models. They always have like an eight-week get your booty up. like Booty aerobics. Booty aerobics, and it works. And we can get that done. Ass aerobics. There we go. And if anything, at that point, maybe we could take a little fat transfer. You know what I mean? Let's take the gut out, put it at the back. Now you got butt. Gut in the butt. Yep. Gut in the butt. Fake butt or <laughs> flat butt? <laughs> <coughs> it's like, how crazy do I want to go with this topic right here? Yeah, as long as we're not body shaming, right? No, I'm never body shaming. You exactly. know me, 2020 year of the woman. I love you. I'm here for you women. Facts. I'm trying to use your perspective. I talk to y'all. Engage. Talk to me. I reach out and touch yeah. the pulse of mm-hmm. y'all. Yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. You feel me? A thousand. I'm behind yeah. you. Um, I'm behind you and everything you said. I'm here for you, ladies. 2020, year of the woman. One thousand. We could use some of that. Something there was good. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, I think that I usually want to say natural <coughs> is the way. I don't, you don't need to change anything about yourself. You're exactly. beautiful the way you are. Yes. And I respect you. Obviously. But there's people like Mad Gal Chris. <clears throat> there's people on the internet mm-hmm. that are just... What? Sometimes the work looks good, man. Sometimes you can pull it off. So if it's one of those joints, if you're saying fake ass but it's semi-ridiculous, but they pulled it off... No, they have no thighs. But they pulled it off... The no thighs, at certain angles, it still looks crazy, daddies. Crazy. Yeah, but like certain angles, it looks also the cr- other crazy. It might look yeah, crazy fire in some angles, wild, but it also you know? look crazy That's fast. trash. You got to know your angles, though. Know the angles. You got to know your angles. All right, so let me ask you at another any question. Point, I'm sorry. Uh, one more thing. One, one more thing. Yeah. Woman, as, at any point that we can honestly, honestly encourage women to stop this shit, dead eyes. Stop what shit? To stop the fake, bo- the, the implants. I really think, like, really, just stop the implants. Just stop it. Like titty implants? Stop all the implants. There's no need for it, man. Listen, just stop man, it, man, I'm not here I to understand. tell women what to do with their bodies. I'm, women, neither am I. If neither you want to get tits, get, get tits. Them, yes. If tits you want to fi- do whatever you tits want, are free will, independence. Right? No, This is the tits year of the woman. Yeah. This is the year of the... Entrepreneur woman, the boss. I get it, but women are all those but things. This is just bosses. All this that. is just advice okay. coming from the other side of, from, of from, the species. From Mr. B, from Mr. B himself. And Mr. B's opinions do not reflect the rest of the opinions of Blood Exchange, but it is Blood Exchange. Yeah, let him read that at the bottom. Bleak's words. Bleak. I'm get him. I'm just saying, fuck the implants. All around. Yo, so let me, ask you, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Though, right? Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Yeah. So fake. So all right. So you have to pick one. Mm-hmm. Fake boobs, real ass, real tits, fake That's what ass. I'm saying. You have to pick one. Fake boobs or fake ass? Fake boobs, 
Fake boobs, real ass. Fake boobs, real ass. Uh-huh. Or fake ass, real Because I've yeah. seen fake boobs done well. Like, like amazing. Um, Obviously, we've well seen all done. of it yeah. done well. Yeah. <laughs> well done. I need, yeah, I'd rather the, the real butt. I tip my hat to the, to the surgeon. And much appreciated. Damn, uh, come to the, the chef. <laughs> like. Delicimo. This is a tough one. Delicioso. What's tough? Discord. This this is a tough. Because okay. I don't like either. It's good to get a you either. Little tits, no ass. But Lil, she pretty as fuck. Little tits, no ass. But she pretty as fuck. Mmm. Little tits and no ass, mm-hmm. but she dumb pretty. Yeah, I'll take that. I like those. I've had those before. You, you like the muscular joints? The joints that look like they like the ones that that look like they work out. It just depends how defined it is. Yo, why are you trying it's, to disrespect me? It just depends me, on the yo. definition, really. How am I trying to disrespect you? What'd you say, Bleak? It's just, it depends on the definition. Okay, like it can't be too defined. Yeah, that's too defined. Still be a little soft. Mm-hmm. You have some. Yeah. Def, you have some. Uh, so you can't have a pretty woman with an eight pack. If it's a visible eight pack, like it's a strong cut, defined eight pack. No, I'm okay. I'll take a step back on that. That's okay. That's what? Not, but she's pretty but, AF. But it's not in my league. Hashtag pretty AF. It's not in my league. It's okay. She could bench more than you. That's fine. She's not in my league. She could bench more than you. Not respect. That's her. Exa- obviously, she's not in my league now. I gotta work. You know, I gotta work up to that. I'll not, get there. Not though. smashing. You gonna let that pussy pass you? <laughs> she's like, yo, bleak. Ride that. I... Work out with me, aka work out you know, with me. You heard me? You know, G. She's out. Of, you know, she's out of my league. Okay. She's too, <coughs> she's too strong for you. <coughs> in. S- Crump? You know, in some uh, in some way, I guess. What was the question? You, could you date a strong woman? Oh yeah, like she can't be stronger than me, but she can be strong. No, but she's up there, like. She no, but I'm pretty strong. Her. That's why she can't be up there. No, she's nah, like, what are you, like six four? I'm six five. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck they talking about. They have to be fit. They can't be wild muscular. Not too muscular. No. I'm down with the muscular. There's a couple muscular joints that. I feel like are underrated. I wouldn't call them, I think the joints you're talking about, I wouldn't even consider muscular joints. I think they have muscles, but they're not muscular joints. They're not, they wouldn't ever be confused as men. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. I think muscular joints can be confused like. Oh, so to you, the word muscular for a female means confused as men. Like, like, like okay. it's so yeah, much muscle mass. It. I don't want anything confused as a man. All right. So I agree with you there. No, nah, there's, there's, um, there's, there seems to be this stigma, right? Okay, Where, talk to him. Okay. Where they say that there's no such thing as ugly, successful men. You know? Like how Hove said, you know, I'm a billionaire, I'm pretty. Yeah. Like, not pretty, but, you know, I'm good looking. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not only because I'm me, but because of my money as well. You think that's what so, he's saying right there? No, yeah, that's a double entendre. Oh, but that's, what, that's the angle you're taking right now. Yeah, that's the angle I'm taking. I, I agree that money makes you look past a lot of things and a lot of people that are like considered to me it's so funny like a lot of people that consider beautiful or glamorous or amazing or so super talented yeah if they didn't have money and look the same as like you know what maybe i'm hating i'm not gonna do it well no, no you're not hating don't, but you don't feel confuse me? that but free space people use hate people use hate for like, anything these days look at this dude i don't want to say i'm not gonna say names but look at this dude if mm-hmm. he didn't have X, Y, and Z. Seventy-five million dollars mm-hmm. from three movies. Is he? Do you think any no, no, no. I think that's love? too. That's too. That's Are not reachable. Serious? That's not reachable. We Are can't you go serious? even go that far. What do you think, Crum? Right to go that far. That seventy-five million. No, no. Let's keep I'm, it like. I, I saw this. Uh, I saw a video online where this woman was talking about how uh, she was so disgusted that uh, quote, uh, successful quote unquote ugly men were treating women bad, and her example was. Uh, um, what is his name? Uh, from the redhead singer dude from uh, England, Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran yeah. She was, her example was Ed Sheeran. Uh, Taylor Swift took Ed Sheeran on tour, and Ed Sheeran had sex with all Taylor her. Taylor Swift, T Swizzle. Yeah, like years ago when mm-hmm. she when he was first getting on. Oh, okay. She took him on tour, and um, when he first had his first set of hits, she took him on tour, 
and all her friends are like super Victoria's Secret Victoria's Secret supermodels, mm-hmm. and he like smashed all her all her friends and didn't yeah. them back. And she was like, "Yo, oh, I'm so disgusted that uh, nah, he was a- these successful ugly men are treating these women bad." <laughs> nah, when um, wow, what is treating them bad? Smashing them out is treating them bad. Man, she's like, "Yo, that's what you, you're you, supposed to do." You're not so like. Am I wrong? I mean, if that's what they're offering is their looks, and he's offering the fame. I just I think mean, that know, he I took, but smashing equal. them out is what you're supposed to do, right? I think everybody just yeah. took, and, you know, <laughs> yeah, chance, I feel like what, took advantage of the what, opportunity. So, but, but where is the the harm? Where was the negative? Mm-hmm. That he ghosted them afterwards. But, oh, but he's ugly. Oh, oh, he's uh, he he had no right illusion. to do that. He's ugly. He's is an illusion being. There's an illusion involved. Oh, because he's ugly, mm-hmm. he shouldn't. How dare he? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. It's the illusion. Listen, man, ugly niggas. Respect. I'm you one of them. Me? I walk that line. You feel me? Stand I walk up, that man. line. Fuck all this bullshit. Yo, you do whatever the you fuck know? you want to do. Uh, man. Some up. of us can't rely on looks. You, you know me? what I mean? We got to rely on other things. On the talent. You know talent, I mean? money. You got to rely on everything game. else. Ugly nigga, stand up. Fuck you. Feel me? Yeah. Talent, man. which is voice, art. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> if you can sing, you got the panties. If you can draw, you got the panties. If you can make them laugh. If you can rap. You got the panties. If you can make them laugh, you got the panties. If you can knock a nigga out, you got the panties. But then that's, that's, is that a talent? To knock yeah. niggas out? That's knocking a talent. Knocking niggas out is a talent. Man. Like, so if then, you could yeah, just yeah. do that. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's a talent. Yeah. Deontay. <clears throat> oh, oh, wow. My bear. Yeah. Tyson My fault. Oh. My fault. Oh, okay. shit. Um, so. All right, let's move on then, right? That was crazy. That was good. I think that was nice, right? Yeah. Facts. Uh, Spike Lee and Dolan. Go ahead. Who wants to go first on this? I mean, he got the. Let's run through it quick. Uh, so did they really kick him out? No, no, no. What happened? What's going on with Spike Lee? I I have a lot. Okay, go ahead. You really? Yeah. Give it to me. First of all, what happened? Did did Spike Lee get kicked out of the garden? Yes or no? Spike Lee did not get kicked out of the garden. Did Spike Lee get kicked out of the garden? I I don't think so. I don't know. Spike Lee did not get kicked out of the garden. Okay, Spike Lee walked in. What do you in. have for this? Tell Spike me. Spike Lee walked in into the entrance, employee entrance that he usually walks into for the past 20 plus years. You dig? And as of last week, sometime, they changed the law on him and he was not the aware policy. of it. The policy. Pro- protocol. protocol. They chose the protocol where he couldn't walk in there. Now, he was addressed at the elevator to be to walk out of the elevator. He did not because he is Spike Lee. Then they met him on the fifth floor the entrance of the garden, and they escorted him out of the elevator as if he, like he said, as if he had stolen something from Macy's. And then they uh, came up with another idea to walk him through some other side and then walk him to to the game. And then James Dolan walked across like he always does, halftime, didn't shake his hand, but told him that um, we have to talk. Spike Lee said he had nothing to say to him. Then he said, well, now you know. The policy was changed. You didn't know, and I changed it on you. So, to be honest with you, Spike Lee, yeah, you didn't deserve that. Yeah, you're the biggest fan of the Knicks. Yeah, and all of that. But for 20-plus years, we've sucked, and you sat there, and you continue to pay this man to treat you like this. Just like he did to Charles Oakley. (laughs) And I'm sorry, and every single other person that keeps going to the garden. This nigga's making salient points. you You should have stopped going to the garden many, many years ago. You don't want the man to be the owner, then you take the power away, which is you. You see, us as customers, we don't understand the power that we have. They're going to always be there. It's big corporations. Exactly. So you can't complain. The money for the, the I'm tickets. sorry. Gonna pay so then Spike pay Lee, just to you be can't in complain. New York, in the garden, watching NBA basketball, yeah. that itself is the prestige. That yes. is the sell. Look yes. at the celebrities around us. We yes. are in New York. We're the richest. Mm-hmm. This is the most fire shit, yeah. and we're doing it. There you go. So that'll always just sell. That's why yeah. they always sell out, even if they're the trashest team in the world. There you go. Right. They're, they're the most valuable uh, franchise NBA still, franchise. and they're yeah. trash. Yeah, you can't yeah. sit there and say that you pay what you pay for those tickets. You paid for them. You pay for being in New York. There you go. You pay for the Stop city. paying him. You pay for you take the power away by taking the money away. It's fire. Stop being mm-hmm. so ignorant. I so, agree. I agree. Uh, yeah, that was it. Okay. Right. Yeah. It is. It does. But you deserve. You know. And then yeah. you still went to the game. You still sat there, and then you said, uh, well, "We gotta I don't get out of sports because no one gives a fuck about sports." I know. 
Are you okay if your if your significant other masturbates a lot? In like what you way? come home and they're like, mm, what you hold mean? on, I'm not finished. I gotta. Mm. No, no, no. That's that's different. That's different. When you say like, a hold lot, on, and hold when on, you say you, obsessed, that's hold obsessed on, you right? came what through you mean, a little bro? crazy. Yeah. No, I masturbate a lot. Like she masturbates three or four. A times. A lot or obsessively. Three or four times a day. That's obsessively, you know? Is that obsessive? Yeah, because as a human, that's you shouldn't morning, have a morning, mon- afternoon, and evening. So that's before she goes to work or she does anything productive? She she lives her life. She can masturbate at work. She'll show you the video. She'll send There's you. There's 24 hours in a Look, day. Look, I'm at work doing the crazy shit. Wow. Look at me. I'm at work playing the banjo. I think, yeah, something's wrong. Something's wrong. I'm playing the banjo at work. You don't think something's wrong? Huh? I think something's wrong. Why? You don't? You have never masturbated three times in a day? I have. And how did you feel? That's why the, my first question was... Was that a great feeling? No, wait, wait. That's why my first question was... Was the time. feeling amazing? That's why my question first question I have for you. Yeah, the feeling was amazing. So of then who, who the releasing, fuck are you, you Bleak? Releasing, who do you think you are to judge? I'm not judging. You First judge. thing I asked was time. How, why does this person have this so much amount of time right. to do this? Because it's mental. Morning. Now, if you're allowed the mental... I wake up, I jake. Mm-hmm. I go to work. That's called habit. I handle my shit. So then that's habit. At lunchtime, I sneak away for six minutes in so the bathroom. So that's obsessively and that I becomes jake. a habit. I jake. So it's a habit. That became an obsessive habit. That's a habit? habit? Yeah. Because we first, it's time, and yeah, time see? had to do with mind, and mind had to do with, it had nothing to do, so it went to that. Then you said, no, it's happening this way, like you just said. So that can't be healthy? Could, so it can't be healthy for somebody to jake multiple times during the day? Not That's not healthy. not healthy. I just told you everything that has to be done. You're going to give me a fucking arbitrary it. number. Yeah. Like, it's only healthy to jake two times a day. Anything no, more I'm than that is that. unhealthy. What nah, kind of stupid ass shit is that. that? I just gave you a when quick you breakdown horny, of my train of thought. That's jake, what I did. Right? Or no. nah, horniness. Stop. Yeah. Stop horniness. You, can't, you jake every I time you get horniness. You, 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 you jake every time you get horny. You're you horny. To you satisfy do you, do you jake what every we, time you get horny? I, hold on. Where, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm, asking, I'm just Why asking you. Get so I'm just asking you. Do you jake every time you get horny? Do I jake every time I get horny? Yeah. Listen, why? I don't understand why this is going No, it's an honest me. question. An honest question. Do you That's jake every time you get horny? I don't be getting if horny you, like you that. Don't you, oh, you don't, don't control your urges? You don't control all your urges? Okay. Hold on, G. Now, that's the first step. It takes a certain I'm, I'm, a, I'm asking G. Horny, you heard? So, on, so, right. any, so, so, ahead, so, so, so you do have sex or jake every time you get horny? I didn't say that. So what are you, what are you saying? What's the question? Do oh, you jake on. every time you get horny? Of course yeah. I do not jake every time I get horny because most times I get horny. Why? I satisfy my needs. All right, so so are you either having sex or jaking every time you're horny? Do you ever, do you ever get horny but just say, nah, I'm not going to be able to, I'm not acting on that Gosh. right now. I'm doing blah, 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 blah. Of course. There's oh, so, so many different situations in life. So man. why can't why can't the shorty just like, chill out if I'm at, on if the I'm in the middle of work, work and I'm get, work. If I'm in the little, middle of work and yeah. I'm giving... A, like a lecture or I'm explaining something or mm-hmm. training somebody okay. and I get horny because I'm thinking of some other shit I'm not yeah. going to be like hold on everybody I need to go Jake so no you might just say I just got to use the bathroom okay. no and then go Jake you might yes. you might. it's going to take go me Jake. at least you might. three right. to seven and a half minutes to get a okay. strong Jake but people people do that in the bathroom all, right, all the time you just said she had six minutes and in the bathroom like exactly three and a half to just, seven so, minutes so, to it's on the longer Jake. side yeah, no she, one she counts people's time in the bathroom yeah, so you're good. Control. You can do it. Yeah, niggas is That's why my first question wild, was right? time. Out of control. Who? He's not. You niggas is wild. No, I'm wild. Not. Yeah. How? What do you mean how? We're just talking reality shit, yeah, bro. It's blood. blood exchange. Yeah. Okay, it's a blood For, exchange. That's why saying, I asked I, you, bro. I, I, time. I was just asking a question. I was honest, asking an honest question. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you release? What do you release when you jack off? Whoa. That's out of control. No, I'm serious. The hormone. What I is think, it? Uh, no, I think no, no, no. It's an honest question. The happens. hormone. The hormone. What? What is it? I think you understand what happens when. What is it? Endorphins. Endorphins, of course. Yeah, you release endorphins. So then, think about it. Think about it. Okay. Think about how easily the mind just confused that for you. Okay. Where now you gave it time to think of something when it was 
when it had nothing to think about. Okay. Right? It had nothing to think about. It had nothing so to it think about. So Why didn't it, it have it, nothing it, to think about? Why I don't know. It was just a about... moment in your day that you had nothing to think about. So that thought sneaked in where you automatically was horny. Okay. So you're horny. Right. What happens now? So then do you take action? Because the desire of releasing endorphins just came in. What do you do? See, I feel like niggas who... <clears throat> I feel like people who... I feel like people who... Like, you see how you say, do you do you jake every time that you get horny? Masturbate, I'm sorry. Right? Or, yeah, do you masturbate every, t- every time you get horny? Oh, I'm sorry. So you're having actual sex. Is that what you would like you, me to address you know what I'm it as? Like you might just so, be having sex. Got you. So and if you're not having sex, if you sex, have the opportunity, if you're not having sex, then you Jake, right? What What is wrong with that? There's nothing wrong. I'm not saying there's Y'all nothing wrong. I think this is some weirdos that. if no, you no, don't no, Jake no, no, or have no. sex. But the question that's was, what you do when you get horny? Listen, 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 right? <laughs> my, yo, G, yo, G. Am I bugging? The question was, G. This is crazy. No, no, no. The question was, would you be mad if your significant other masturbates, masturbates a lot? That. So so let's answer that question. So What's then, your, you, you say you, you come home from work or come home from whatever, and she's jerking off. Okay, or she's masturbating, yeah. or he's masturbating. Then, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's okay, one for or twice, right? Be, and then for me, it would be a female. F- yeah, masturbating. She's no, masturbating. You made that kind of murky. The I, way you I just vice versa. That. You didn't explain that right. She comes home. It you're would masturb- only be a female for me. Though. She comes home. You're jerking right? off. You come home. She's masturbating. Okay. So yeah. then. Then you see it once or twice, I think it's good, but then it becomes a, yeah. a really, really, it becomes a time of, it really becomes a matter of time. Okay. Right? right? Because you can have sex in a seven day week, you can have sex three times, four times. If you really, 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 really have the time, you can really have sex five to six times a week. And that's a lot in a relationship if you keep it a thousand. That's the firest relationships, though. Man. Exactly. I love having sex. But like people every day. don't have the time. People just don't have the drive no more. No, I don't know we, what happened. It's the time. It's the drive. It's the time. We be having the time. It's the if time. If you want to make the time, you can make the time. I'm a it's believer time. that if y'all on the same page, you can always figure it out. Yeah, of course. Like, all right, if our shit is we have to meet up at 4 o'clock in the morning, then that's our shit. Well, if you live together, you are lit. going to be together If we don't live together, together at four and you live morning, far away, I mean, but we, every Thursday morning at 4.32, we can meet up, then it's lit right there. You know what I mean? So anybody else that says some other shit than that is that's some fake shit to me. At the end of the day, to answer your question, I think that's in consideration of time. And then I would ask her, why do you have so much time to do this? <laughs> and then, you know, I'll take it from there. But I would like to be involved the most of the time that she does. What if she just likes to play with the fucking... <laughs> the the vibrator? The big bull Hercules. So what am I there for then? The Hercules no. bull. So what am I on a show? I'm the just part. Big I'm Joe. the audience. The, no way. I'm never. I'm the, not gonna be the. the, the I'm not gonna she be. Out like this, just, first of all, out in the wheelbarrow. Yeah. I'm not gonna be in the audience if I'm paying rent. I'm sorry. Huh? It's not gonna happen. But yeah. No, she like when you're not. She like yo. Hold exactly. On. I'm not gonna be when in the audience see, like, when I'm yeah, paying rent. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. No. No, eight inch, eight inch dildo is not happening in my crib. No. If my shorty got an eight inch, joint, twelve inch, I'm talking about like the fourteen, yeah. fourteen, like, like the big ball Hercules joint. My, my arm, my form, my yeah. brother. That's what you're talking about. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, come on, man. So why am I there? You know, regular I'm shit. Here, my nigga, pack my things. Holland. Go live in my mom's house. I pay less rent. Regular shit. Holland, the fuck? boy. You hear me? Yeah, that's, it's not happening. So yeah, let's try. It. So. You, what? Right, if Shorty right. had that. What, what's your thoughts? If Shorty had the Herculea ball. Yo, G, you still you still in there? You're not in there, bro. Uh-huh, pardon You're me? not dancing in there. Dancing in what? Shorty got a 14 inch dildo in her fucking cabinet. You're not dancing in there. <laughs> nah, I feel mm-hmm. like a lot of women are very resilient. There's no such thing as resilience with a 14 inch dildo, bro. That shit vi- is destruction. A little vinegar, snapback. That's called destruction, my guy. I don't man. know. Snap at that. Oh, yeah. I saw some... So, guys, this is very interesting. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I saw a post on social media. I don't... I didn't take a screenshot. I'm sorry. Usually I do. I bring okay. a screenshot to the meetings, and yeah. we usually get a push through. But 
But I just remember the 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 fucking sentiment of what was said, and I thought it was really paraphrase, interesting. Paraphrase. And I'm gonna paraphrase, Please. and I just want to let you you guys tell me what you, how you feel about it. Ready? Talk to Ready? me. Let's go. Corona. Um, we don't drink Coronas. That's a fact. Mm. Anal sex yeah. is for women with loose coochies and whack box or niggas with homo tendencies. Yeah, I could, I could like, you know, slightly get up on that. Wow. So, I need some time. so can I ask you guys a question? Yeah. Piggybacking off of that. How do you guys feel about anal sex? I mean, I don't really now, mean. actually, the question should be the question that you should ask is what Tell are what, what are bleak. you? Hold on, bleak. What, what is the success? Ask? What is the success rate in anal sex? I don't know what that means. You're gonna have to rephrase. No, the that. success rate. Like rephrase. How that. many times? What is success you, rate? What? How Why many not? times have you have have you been successful in anal sex? I succeed because I'm the man. No. My success, I didn't say that. No. My the successful success rate uh, in anal sex is the question. Yo, so G. Dark. Think about it, G. It's not what I said. Let me get a beer. Bro. I said it, but I didn't say it. Nah. Trust so me. listen, uh, that came out right. That, I'm wrong. just saying. Uh, nah, I'm sorry. Oh, I, should, I doubled that. Nah, go ahead. Um, what do we think about anal sex? Go ahead. Listen. Uh, what do we think about anal sex? How do you feel about anal sex? Do you think it's homo to have anal sex with a woman? No, I don't think so. Do you think it's homo tendencies? I don't think so. I think I think sexuality is 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 um sexuality. is something that is combined with curiosity, imagination, and pleasure. And once you start, <laughs> ooh, that's how they fire, bleak. Yeah, no problem. That's how they crazy. Wavy seal. And anytime you start to put these walls around these things, you start to construct and start and start the blockage, and then. Once the blockage. So you cool with the sh- you cool with and the how do you break and how do you break the blockage, Bleak? By just being open. So you so you so down you gotta, with the, you, you gotta down get with, open. Down with Shorty with, you gotta get open and let them break the she blockage. The, yeah, you gotta let her get the tuli off. Let break the blockage. She got to strap in the tuli. She got to strap in the tuli. Yeah, that's all good. Yeah. Hey, hey, you gotta do whatever it takes. You know? Oh, that's what uh, you be doing. Whatever. No, it takes? not necessarily me. She love it when she deep It's all subjective. Call her Stephanie. Hefini. Hefini. Hey. How about Enneli? You know, things like that. We, uh, she said she got the plunger. Well, not for me. I, not for me. So if, she, if, you're, but, if you pull up and your shorty got the fucking beads on mm-hmm. crazy daddy's yeah, going crazy Yeah, the anal beads? Brow, brow, brow. Like nah, some fucking that's firecrackers. Not for me. Obviously, that's for her. Wild beads. Bow. Wow, that's a lot. Straight out her ass. That's a uh, lot, my guy. You fucking with it? That's for her, obviously, uh, bro. Um, I just, I just be staying away from that region. There you go. Nah, I'm just, I'm, I'm oh, boring. No, but I'm honestly, boring. I'm a loser. Real, I'm sorry, a loser. sorry. I went off for the ass tangent. My fault. But the real question was, how do you feel about anal sex? I'm not really. You know what I mean? Still this, in the same sentiment. So you know, you know, fucking, that's not his not back. fucking bitches in the ass. That's not his back. Nah. You know, fucking girl in the ass. Nah. Was that, was that too forward right there? I mean, you I mean asked this is the blunt exchange. We're blunt friends. Exchange. Nah. We're I friends. Think the com- safe place. Okay. Think, you don't fuck your girl in the ass? I think the Kama Sutra says otherwise. Do you, you don't fuck your girl in the ass? I think the Kama Sutra says otherwise. That sounds like a G answer, and I respect yeah. that. Pardon me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. You know, you, Playboy? Yeah. Do I do I engage in, in no that? Sex. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what you, you think, know, bro? it's case by case, right? That's so, not, hey, so, that's so not but right. no, ultimately you do. Some though. people bring that out in you, I, no depending homo. on the person. But you ultimately, yeah. Some females are just so intoxicating that it's okay, it's all right, man. Well, they make it, and they make it. It's it's, it's so definitely you, a woman thing. It's a feminine thing, and it's amazing. So, what do you think about the guys who say that it's uh, that if you do that you have like homo tendencies? I think those men may be homosexuals themselves. Crump. Hold on, Crump. That's called insecurity. I feel like they're wrong insecurity. because that's not the case for me. So I can see that there are instances that that's not true. Yeah, and you see, maybe, that's and another maybe they're problem, homosexual and they're projecting, like, and that's fine. If you're wanna, homosexual and that's how you would feel in that situation, live in your truth. You would want to fuck the nigga, not me. 
We're different. Not, not me. You see, that's another thing. Some people have a problem with being Look. different. I mean, just be different if you want to be different. There's always someone for someone, right? What they say? There is always someone for yeah. someone. Yeah. Don't shoot the messenger. The, don't shoot <laughs> the messenger. The messenger. The but messenger. nah, yeah, man. <gasps> to be honest with you, yeah. That so everybody's okay with their, their significant other masturbating OD. I, mean, I don't think OD will be good yeah, because that's exactly. not healthy. Not yeah, it won't be healthy for the relationship. Do y'all masturbate OD? It's no. only healthy for that no. person no. and that's selfish. Do you think that if you had to masturbate OD no. in a relationship that something is going bad? Yes. Um, yeah, I guess so. You never had a situation where like you fucked a bitch OD crazy and it was yeah. fire, but you're yeah. like, damn, I still got to masturbate. Like shit was so crazy, I want to masturbate to the video. See, but like I, just I said, that's on you. Her an hour and a half ago, because she was yeah. so fire. But that's on you. No, that's out of control. I mean, that's not. That's an out of control situation. That's on you, and that affects the relationship. So you, so um, you have to find a way that that your significant other is comfortable with that, until you don't get to that point. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, like, uh, are are you cool with the uh, masturbation all crazy? Am I cool with the masturbation yeah. all crazy? Um, it, I feel like it could be a fun thing for all of us if, if I, f- I would like to get involved. I'd like to be getting involved. With now, you don't always be around when I want to get it in. Yeah, then go in. Uh-huh. Oh, I can't control you. You're a woman. Year 2020, you're the woman. Yeah. woman. And, and it, it would have been the year of the woman any other year anyway. Mm. 2020 so is just yeah. an emphasis. Mm. You, of course you can masturbate. You, I don't know. You don't have to ask me for some shit like that. Yeah. Are you out of control? Do Hell yeah, shorty. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna ask you. When I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna Jake. What, what if she's like? I want. I, what if she's like? It's just gonna happen. What if she's like? Yeah, I want to know when you masturbate. All right, freaky she, bitch. I'm not telling, okay, baby. But she's not I'll telling, tell you, baby. She's right. not gonna tell you when she masturbates. Nah, see what kind of shit is that? I can't get some of that nice pleasure nah. too. Yeah, the woman. Damn, I can't get no freaky shit too. That's out of control, my nigga. Yeah, let me... Uh, Can I get a video of it later or something? Right. Let that ass. So I got a... Uh, a I got a viewer uh, uh, DM, right? Yeah. And they said to me, G, they're like, G, mm-hmm. it's crazy how mm-hmm. women what? go so crazy and they make no sense. They're like so <laughs> hypocritical. Okay. And I'm like, listen, bro, I know what you're trying to say. And Loki, I feel you, but you can't say that. That's too crazy. It's right. 2020. It's, yeah, come on. Be you're more specific. Yeah. Give me the case that you're talking about. Give me the specific. Beyonce The specifics of what's going on. out here wilding. Can't talk about women like that. Yeah, you can't just wild out and say shit like <laughs> yeah. that. So he said that it's crazy how women will, like, beg you to, to do things for them and break your rules for them. Yeah. And, you know, show them that you care or whatever. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. Then that's true. Immediately, when it gets crazy, throw that in your face. Yes. Of you being not strong willed or mm-hmm. not handling your business yes, or yes, not yes. doing what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Right? Yes. Have you ever experienced that? Do you know about of that? Of course. Have you I, seen think, that? I think every man like, has Like, do you understand what I'm that. trying to say? I think every man has experienced that. I think Like, your I, woman, point, like, for example, like, let's say your woman calls you, like, hey, babe. Uh, I know tomorrow is your day off. Can you come with me for something yeah, at my uh, job? It's 45 minutes away. Come you know, pick you me up, sit right? down or whatever for a little bit. And just, yeah. It's your day off. Just chill. Or just drive me on errands. Drive yeah, me to run some errands. Yeah. Yeah. And you know you want to, you know, do just chill. Day. You want to chill, chill, take your day off. And you're like, nah, nah, nah. And she's like, oh, baby, please, I need this. Okay. And you're like, all right. And in the end, when anything comes up or there's an argument, like, yo, nigga, I didn't ask you to do none of that. I did ask you to do that, but you said yeah. you didn't want to do it, and you did it because you have no fucking backbone. You're a pussy ass nigga. Okay. Yeah, that's a grind. You're a pussy. Right. You should have right. stood up for yourself. Mm. If you really didn't want to do it, you wouldn't have done it, and you did it. So now don't go tit for tat. You did that shit. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. How do you feel about that? That's crazy. That uh, uh, that's crazy. That is somebody you consider your significant other would uh, ever say that shit to you. Like that's fucking crazy. First of all, right? It's out of control. Yeah, like that's what do you first. mean? You asked me to do it. What you mean? Mm-hmm. I, 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 I don't take my 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 kindness for weakness. Yo, I okay. can be very cold. I asked you to do like, it, but if it was so serious to you, then you can't never bring it up as something that you did. Like you did it for me. I'm already. not bringing it up as something that I. I'm not looking for for points right now. I'm saying, 
like 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 by me taking that by me sacrificing my time to help you out with something something that I was going to do isn't available right now so all I'm looking for is some acknowledgement I'm not looking for the fucking pity party or anything like that like <laughs> all I'm saying is just acknowledge like you know what I mean like I I've t- I took value in what you said you wanted or you needed help in. Yeah. So like respect me as a man. No, nah, but don't, you but you said that you didn't want to do nothing on your day off. I didn't. And in the end, you, you came begging. and did this shit. So I don't want to hear me. nothing about you saying you was begging me. Yeah. I don't want my girl begging. And you broke your rules for me like a pussy. A real nigga would have said, oh. "I'm not doing what I don't want to do." Yeah. So that's what real niggas do. Yeah. I'm- yeah, I'm, I, it's like, crazy, like because if you did yeah. that, if you acted like I'm gonna do what real niggas do and do whatever the fuck I want to do, then they would be tight. Like, yo, this nigga don't do shit. This nigga, right? Yeah, that's a lot of conditioning. It's a lot of conditioning, and and, and all of that, what you said, that's a lot of conditioning. That's what I hear. Because, you know, that example that you use, you know. Mm-hmm. I decided to take my day off. It's the weekend. I say it's a Saturday, right? Yeah. Saturday. You don't come do some shit for me 45 minutes away. You know, you got to sit down in the, but you know, the, the room for like four hours real quick. You know, and this shit. person, because yeah. that's... But then, you know, we can go get some... Nah, first of all, I'm not, like, if you have to do something that's taking four hours, nah, I'm not sitting in the way. <laughs> nah, I'm not, doing, I'm not doing that. Are well, you going to come you back off. at the lunchtime thing yeah. then? Yeah. You're going to drop me off and then come back at lunchtime? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then drop me off, come back at lunchtime, and then come okay. back and get me when it's over. What do you mean? Come back and get you what? See? What? See? See how selfish you are? I'm yeah. selfish. You have a whole day off. You're not doing shit. I am, I am doing something. What, you doing? Doing? what are you doing? I'm recharging my battery. That's out of control. Your That's girl is out here 45 minutes away, and you can't even pick her up from work. No, I said I could, I could pick her up from work. Yeah, and, to, and eat lunch with her. No, not that day. Oh, okay. Gee, that That's sounds selfish. like toxic femininity. Toxic femininity? Is what that? you just represented was toxic femininity. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was toxic femininity? Yes, sir. Explain to me why it's toxic femininity. Because obviously you are disregarding... The man's time? My feelings. His feelings. And well, what about her feelings? If you I was see, at work, what would you be there's doing? The, there's the misjudgment of compromise. If I was at work, what would you be doing right There's now? the misjudgment of compromise. All right, bet. But you're not at work. All right, do I ask you to come to my job? Is, is the do person you? asking? Do you? I don't know. Does he? Do you? I mean... That we just got next level on this fucking scenario. I mean, oh, my gosh. Yes. Yeah, because crazy. it's a selfish scenario. Yeah. Okay. It's a toxic, selfish scenario, which is the majority of the time. All right, Facts. so we'll come back and, and touch that yeah. again next episode. No doubt, yeah. bro. Yo, thank you for watching the Blunt Exchange. Thank you, please. It's your boy, Aim Gunner. Yo, huh? yo. Yo, my man. Yo, yo, yo Crump. What's and poppin'? My, and my man. Pablo, a.k.a. Bleak. We thank you for pulling up, rolling up, lighting up, and getting, getting blunt, blunt with us. us. Yes. Stay blunt. Hit us up on all platforms. Yes. On Spotify, podcast, mm. Apple Podcasts. Follow. Comment. YouTube, yeah. Twitter, do it. Facebook, yeah, subscribe, oh. all that Instagram. kind of stuff. Bra, 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 bra. We'll have all the things up in the uh, at the end of the episode. And Yo, keep it crazy blunt. ass episode, huh? Yeah. Oh man, we wild out. Yes, yes, yes. Shoot travels, bleep. Yo, good looks. So next uh, time, so see next ya. Time. Next time, next week. Keep it blunt. Mm. Don't forget, follow us on all platforms: Twitter, Blunt Exchange, Instagram, Blunt Exchange, Facebook. Blood Exchange. And you're already here. YouTube, Blood Exchange. Don't forget to subscribe, like the videos, hit the notification bell, and send us a comment. I social, niggas say to be a man, you can't be emotional. But that's crazy, sometimes I feel like I'm going postal. That's why my girl, she be bugging me like I can't approach you. Give me a minute to breathe it, to get my thoughts together. Quick meditation, mind racing by some awesome weather. I'm in the tropics, so I could bump in some big popper. Usually a shit popper, now I got my shit proper. Look at me changing, my I'm growing up Just had a show at the open mic and I tore it up My niggas telling me I got it, yeah